John Bachman was a mere 24 years old when he took his place in Channel 2 history. They called it Carterville, a tent city erected near the Federal Office Building in New York City. After a solid audition in 1972, he won a job on the anchor desk alongside Eastern Iowa broadcast legends Dave Shea, Ron Gonder, and Conrad Johnson. But some nearby consultants wanted an older, more distinguished look for this young broadcaster just out of graduate school. So I remember they brought me over to the makeup room there at, at WMT and they put some powder in my hair to see what it would look like on the air if it was a little bit gray. Well, now 30 years later, I finally have some real gray. Yes, that's not powder these days around those slightly shorter sideburns, but the 53-year-old Bachman is still going strong in broadcasting the last 15 years on the anchor desk at WHO in Des Moines. After leaving Channel 2 in 1974 to work in Chicago, he returned in 1977. John, we're delighted to have you back. Thank you, David. It's great to be back, believe me. Good. And remained in Cedar Rapids until 1980. I have uh, terrific memories of Cedar Rapids, the community and the station. Um, they were pivotal in my career, and uh, in, in some ways they were, you know, the finest years. They, they really are stand out in my memory. We sat down with Bachman in Des Moines to reminisce about days gone by. Can't he get a haircut? And to talk about the many changes, not only in appearances. This is painful. <laughs> you, you knew this would happen, didn't you? But in his career. Well, now you have to remember, this is the mid-70s. <laughs> Styles were different then. Rathpacking of Waterloo cannot survive for long in its present location. Eastern Iowans warmed quickly to Bachman's style in his tenure at Channel 2, and he says the admiration was mutual. This was a uh, first full-time anchor job, and Cedar Rapids, the whole area, was just very welcoming. Good evening. It's been rumored for weeks, and this morning it happened. After leaving Cedar Rapids, Bachman had a seven-year stint in Minneapolis. Good afternoon. I'm John Bachman. 75 degrees. Then he returned to Iowa, to WHO, where he now anchors the 5, 6, and 10 o'clock news. John Bachman has worked in bigger cities like Chicago and Minneapolis and probably could have made a career there, but instead he decided to come back to the state that's become his home. I think we've just always felt at home in Iowa. Uh, it's the same old cliche, you know, there's not a better place to, to raise a family, and of course we raised our family here in Iowa. And that was probably the primary reason we stayed. Family is also why this old Channel 2 newspaper promotion still hangs on his office wall. See, my, my hair's a little better than the video you showed me. It features the anchor team at the time. But this is a, one of my favorite pictures because of John. And it includes Bachman with his young son, John, who is identified as a trainee. We have lots of news coming up this morning. First, our top story. Ironically, over 20 years later, John Bachman is following in his father's footsteps, working as a television news reporter in Sioux Falls. I know how, how terribly disappointing and stressful television news can be. And uh, so I had some, some, th some second thoughts. As for Bachman's future, he says he wouldn't mind eventually slowing down a little bit, but he isn't quite ready to hang up his microphone. I still uh, love coming to work each day, so I'm not about to walk away from it. But when he does, he can look back with pride over a career that started 30 years ago. We'll have those stories all still to come. Cedar Rapids. I was looking at a quote the other day, and I hope that I've fulfilled that quote and that I had, I think, and continue to have an understanding and a compassion for the newsmaker as well as for the audience. Something many Eastern Iowans can attest to firsthand. Kevin Carrizo, KGAN News, Des Moines.